Oh, hey, YouTubers, what is going on? It is your boy once again, RKO2582, here to give my SmackDown review for July the 29th, 2011. And let's not waste any time and get this review underway. Alright, we kick off SmackDown with <clears throat> Time to play the game! Yep, our yep, you guessed it. Our new chief operating officer, Triple H. He was coming down once again, you know, stating his address for the SmackDown side, like you know, he wants and along with Raw saying, like, I'm going to get this Raw WWE title issue. I know could put once and for all, and then especially with SmackDown's world. Anyway, title here. Then the champ, Pete for life, Captain Charisma. Christian comes out and interrupts Triple H and pretty much saying like, oh, I'm glad you're here. And, and all that stuff, you know, kissing his ass and all that stuff. But Triple H was like, I ain't having none of that. Saying, I hate being interrupted. And he and we finally get some um info on SummerSlam, finally. And then he posts Christian with his rematch against Randall. But this time, it's no holds barred. And Christian wasn't having that. And then guess who returns to SmackDown? Surprise, surprise, surprise. The truth shall set you free. Our truth makes his return to SmackDown. <laughs> and oh my God, it was too funny. Yeah, especially when you come out and you say like, oh, and it's it, it, like, I'm home cooking. He's like, he like, he like home cooking, though. He like it, don't it? And then, and then he was all saying, "We gonna pick up where we left off, Mister H." And, and then him connected with the fans who play. He's all like, "Don't want me." They're like, "What?" It's funny. And then, um, uh, yeah, R two get his butt straight out there, like, uh, like he said before, "I'm gonna pick up where we left off." And then Triple H's like, "I'm glad you're here." And he's like, and he puts R truth against the Dream Killer Randy Orton for the main event. On SmackDown, and not only that, he put Christian in a match against the returning John Morrison. And Triple H's like, "Yeah, you better hurry up, Christian. That match is up next." I was like, "Wow, Triple H did it again." <laughs> I'm really gonna like the Triple H regime. It's gonna be so freaking awesome, and it's making SmackDown a little more edgier, like it used to be back in the day. And I like it. And we get off with the first match of the night. You know, Christian against John Morrison. I'm, okay, personal like, why is Christian? Like, the beginning of the show, you know, he's the champion. He should be made of being the match instead of Orton's behind. Uh, it's just a thought, man. Just a thought. All right. Back to the match. Yeah, Christian and um John Morrison, you have them. Uh, It was a great match. I enjoyed this so much. You had my boy Morrison does his usual court screw plancha. It's so epic. And then, and I like that backflip bottom he does, that backflip. Rock bottom, it was epic. It's almost similar to what Sin Cara does, but he does on the top row. But and then you know when he got towards the end of the match, Morrison um about to hit the Starship Pain, boom he misses, and Christian comes in and hits the boom kill switch. Your winner, one two three, Christian, your World Heavyweight Champion. Man, I have to say, it's Christian's on a roll, man. Two weeks in a row, he's been kicking ass. Hope he keeps it up going in the SummerSlam. Then we have Wade Barrett come out and does a promo saying like how he's bearing Brian and like how the hell did Brian get this money in the bank? And guess who comes out? My boy, the American Dragon, SmackDown Money in the Bank winner, Daniel Bryan. He comes out and saying like, I don't care what you say and all, and pretty much saying what similar to say what Michael Cole said. And and, uh, and speaking of Michael Cole, oh my God, that that man just really gets on my damn nerves. He always be speaking over them people go <laughs> and being a douchebag more than he already is. Oh, I wish he was fired. I wish he didn't show up. God. And um, and then Barrett punches Brian in the face, and then after just you thought Barrett had him down for get Brian like <clears throat> like got into a little bell lock and then pretty much made Barrett tap like a drunk man. <laughs> it was great. And I enjoyed it. And then we have oh, and I forgot. Yeah. Woo woo woo! Zack Ryder has been named by Triple H, it, the new assistant for Taylor, and I'm so excited. Yeah, once again, woo woo woo! You know it. Take care and spike your hair. <laughs> and um, yeah, he pretty much sets up Henry's opponent for tonight. 
Yeah, but we'll get to that later on. And then we get on to our sixth Diva Tag Team match with Alicia Fox, a.k.a. Rihanna number 2, yeah, Rosa Mendez, and Tamina against Natalia, Caitlyn, and uh, my baby, AJ Lee. She looked cute last night, all I gotta say. Matter of fact, she always looked cute. And um, this match was really good, you know, Natalia was, you know, getting a star and stuff, but once she tags in my girl AJ, AJ was rolling, baby. You understand? She had, she did a nice Hurricane Ron, too. Like, pretty much the best out of all the Divas Hurricane Ronas. I'm like, yeah, Kelly, Kelly, take notes. And um, and then she did that usual shiny wizard she does on Alicia Fox. And then just you thought AJ was going to steal the deal, then, then sadly, you know, Alicia Fox, yeah, got, moves out the way. And then she hits her with an axe case. In my opinion, I don't think it hit her right, you know. But, but in the end, one, two, three, yo, winners. Alicia Fox, Rosa Mendez, and Tamina. Ooh, man, I hate Alicia Fox for pinning my girl. All I'm gonna say is this Monday night, the my nerd goddess will prevail. You'll see, you'll all see. All right, we get on to Mark Henry. Oh God, man. Ooh, yes. You know, and then some jobber named uh Bobby Howard. I'm like, oh my God, this dude makes the steel look bigger than him. Damn, he was a twig. And then Mark Henry, of course, beats his ass and hits with the world's strongest slam. And and, and then uh, he was about to put the, do that splash, I know, about on his knee with the chair. And then Law was like, stop, stop, stop. And then he was like, 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 can't let you do this, man. I know you and I go way back and stuff. But he's like, I'm going to have to put an end to this. And then surprisingly, believe it or not, the Celtic warrior Sheamus comes out. Ah! I, and I'm like, and then he comes out saying like, I want to challenge a fellow and all that stuff. It was funny. And I'm surprised. I'm like, is it me or did Seamus just turn face? I, 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 th- I think, and the crowd was getting behind him all of a sudden. They were like, Seamus, Seamus. I'm like, what the hell? And, and so I guess Seamus turned face. So I'm guessing we might see a match between Seamus and Mark Henry next week. If you want my take on it. All right, then we get on to the WWE Tag Team Tournament between Osos against New Nexus. Oh, God, David Otunga and Michael McGill. And for one, I hate the fact New Nexus stole Justin Gabriel's song. I thought that song was perfect for Justin Gabriel, man. And now New Nexus got his song. It makes me wonder what Gabriel's going to come out to now. And this tag team match was too short, in my opinion. And I hated that, yeah, the new Nexus got the win, thanks to Michael McGillicuddy distract and that, oh, sorry, David Otunga distracting one of the Usos when they were about to do that super fly like splash, and then he distracting them, and then, oh, I'm sorry again, um, Michael McGillicuddy hit the McGillicutter on one of the Usos, one, two, three. Yo, winners, and still, WWE Tag Team Champions, the new Nexus. Oh, I just wish the Nexus would just die already. And the Usos need that victory more than they they built them up to to last night and then yet yeah, they didn't capitalize on. I'm I'm hoping that this is not the end for the Usos. I mean, I, I'm still trying not to give up on them. They deserve those tag team titles more than anyone. All right, then we have the, the personification of domination, Ezekiel Jackson, the Intercontinental Champion, against Cody Rhodes and, and Money Ted DiBiase and. Yeah, and, and once again, another short match, and, and I'm pissed that, um, as much as I love Cody and DBIC, I wanted Zeke to win this, because he's been on a losing streak ever since he won the Intercontinental They're not making him look like an Intercontinental Champion, and, and it's a shame. And then, you know, Rose hits the boom, cross Rose, and, and yep, and gets the victory, one, two, three, after DBIC distracts him and stuff. And now we get on to the main event, R True, against uh, the Dream Killer. Randy Orton, wow, in a battle of the psychos, <laughs> as I called it. Yes, this this was actually a pretty good main event. Uh, and once Christian comes in the fray, yeah, Christian comes out trying to screw out Orton and stuff. And then I like when, I hate how they broke in commercial when Troop did one of my favorite movies. Here's the whoosh lie detector. So epic move. And then I like when it got towards the end of the match and Troop had that water battle and or like, here, have some water, homie. Boom! In his face. And then that's when Orange started turning the wheel. That's when Orange started getting more psycho than last week. And then he 
he, he brings a chair and hits R2 with the chair. And he gets himself disqualified. And your winner, R2, by disqualification. But Orton didn't give a damn. He just went psycho like, oosh, oosh. And then he hits him with not one, but two RKO's on the table. And and I'm pissed that the table didn't break. It's like, why does the table break every time when Orton does an RKO? Just saying. And that's how we end SmackDown with Christian holding that belt like it's his newborn child. And Orton standing tall once again. What else is new? Alright, um, and that was it, all my SmackDown review. And don't forget, this Monday night on Raw, we're going to finally sell it once and for all. Who is the real WWE Champion? Like, we already don't know. And the Divas Battle Royal. But no one continues to go up against Kelly Kelly at SummerSlam. And once again, I'm pushing for my baby AJ. If, if AJ doesn't win, then that Phoenix is my backup choice. So, anyway, this is your boy once again, RKO2582. Fine, y'all.